In this video, we're gonna unpack the Wave Desk Stand. This is a new desk stand from Elgato. Ah, I wish that was in one go. We have a manual here. A box. And a very heavy plate. The rest of the box is empty. So I'm just gonna put that aside. We're gonna see what's in the box in the box. The arm. And a little package. There's like absolutely no plastics in here, which I do appreciate. A lot of small parts. And now we have to assemble it. But you know what? We do have a manual. So what we need to do is we basically need to screw this thing on that really heavy plate. So we push the screws through the, the big heavy plate. We have this thing in the back. And now we screw them in. Hmm, I'm gonna... It's kind of difficult to do on your own. It's doable. But it's difficult. It's easier if somebody's ho holding that plate or holding something else, like the arm. I'm doing one screw a little bit and then I'm doing the second screw, so I don't have to hold it as much anymore. Like I said, the plate is pretty heavy because it needs to be counterweight, so it needs to be heavy. <laughs> okay, I got one of the screws all the way in. Got the second one. Okay, that one is all the way in. Now this is attached with the screws in the back. Now we have all of these and these are just for cable management. So we can wrap them around. And then we have two screws left and these are basically to mount your microphone because now we have this end and this end is a universal end and it doesn't fit on all microphones. In the manual it says it's a 1-4 inch, a 3-8 inch and a 5-8 inch. I don't know the American so I don't know inches that much but I do recognize these shapes. And the thick one is usually for bigger microphones. So my XLR microphone does have the, the thick one. So you just screw this on here and then you can screw your microphone on it basically. Because otherwise your microphone doesn't attach to this screw right here. But if you want to attach something else, this might screw on this screw. They basically wanted to make it versatile by giving you different option screws. For example, if you have the Elgato phone grip, this one needs the normal thread that is already on it. So you can just thread this on it. There's two threads on it, actually. But let me just use this one. I'm not good at doing this, but there we go. That's on this thread. Make sure it's secure. I don't want to lose my phone. And now my phone's in here. Basically, I can start recording a TikTok video. 
because now it's on eye level and I don't have to, like I can just w talk into my, my camera lens. And now I don't have to hold my phone and it will be a steady shot. You can also look at the back of the camera like this and look at these lenses. However, it's a lot harder to see yourself like that if you're recording a TikTok because then you don't know if you're in the frame or not <laughs> and how, how the frame is looking. Unless you put a mirror at the back, I guess, then you can see it because then you can look at the mirror. But then you're not looking at the camera lens anymore. Next up, I'm going to show you how to put on there is the Ogato Wavemark Neo. First of all, you need to get this part off. Then there's this pin in the middle, which you need to pull out. Uh, by turning, <laughs> not by pulling, by turning. And then if you look inside, there's already a thread in here. And I'm wondering if that's already treading on. And if you try, you don't tread that on. So what we need to do is we grab the little thread. So you have two, you've got the bulky one, you've got the little one. We grab the little one. It has like a thicker flat side and the screw side. The screw side goes inside the wave neo. And now we can screw it on top of the stand. Here we go. And that's how you attach the Elgato Wave Neo to the Elgato Wave Desk Stand. It's actually pretty simple if you know how to do it. And then we have cable management, right? We could plug it, this back in because we need to when we're, we're going to use it. And then we can run it through all these cable management things, run it through all the rubber bands right here. So it looks clean and not cluttered at all, which I totally do with everything. I run every cable through a nice rubber band and I totally do not have any cable mess at all underneath my PC. If you want to buy the Elgato Wave Descent, the Elgato Wave Neo, or the Elgato Phone Clamp, I'll leave the links down below in the description. You will also get 5% discount with my code ZZTrui. I'll leave that down below in the description as well. And make sure to click on the affiliate link. If you accept the cookies, I will get a percentage of the sale as well without you having to pay more. So that's a win-win. And if you want to see some more videos about Ogata products, make sure to click on this playlist. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video.